Tell me, have you ever danced with the devil in the pale moonlight? Hey guys, welcome back to Fly By Not Reviews. I'm your host, Kieran. And Dom. In preparation of The Flash out June 16th, which is this Friday, Dom and I watched Batman. This is Tim Burton's Batman. Not to be confused with THE Batman, but just Batman. I know that's kind of... Oh yeah. There's so many Batman movies now, but... um. You know, this movie holds a very special place in my heart. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. Same with me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, when I was seven, like the the summer of '89 was like, I mean, the it was real. The the bat fever. What oh, yeah. they, you know, I'm sure we have some younger viewers um, that you know, but just the anticipation for this movie and the excitement and just this whole movie in general, like the look of Batman. The darker kind of angle that they're going with, which is completely oh, yeah. new and different. Yeah, I just remember growing up on the 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 Batman sixty six uh, uh, show, and so this scene, this Batman was just like a total like, whoa, what what's this? Yeah, I mean, it was. I mean, to say that, I mean, it was like kind of groundbreaking. It, it was kind of I can compare it to like Superman in the seventies. This was like the superhero movie that pretty much set the bar for like oh, yeah. the future of superhero movies, I think in terms of like, uh, realism, um, you know, kind of a darker take, um, very influenced with, um, like the Frank Miller graphic novels and like killing joke, I think yeah, too. Yeah. Um, but, but yeah, like I think Tim Burton at the time he was sort of a up and coming director. He only did a few movies before that. I think Pee Wee's, uh, Big Adventure and Beetlejuice, I believe. I think so. Yeah, I think those are it. Yeah, and that and the hence, you know, that's why Michael Keaton was was cast as Batman. And you know, as you know, like there was a huge controversy of Michael Keaton being cast. Yeah, we don't want a comedian. He's too short. Nobody yeah. cares about that now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now it seems like even even Tim Burton's casting has kind of set a trend with with directors picking kind of like you know. Off the, yeah, like, out left field uh, choices. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, uh, Ben Affleck, um, Robert Pattinson, for sure. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, but... That's, uh, that's still surprised me how well he did with that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I, I love the Batman, the, the, the newest one. I think that's probably my favorite since the Tim Burton films, for sure. Oh, yeah. Um, but, yeah, this movie is just, you know, it's very... It's... It feels like a comic book, mm -hmm. um, you know, even from the beginning, um, Danny Elfman's score. God, that, that will never get old. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he, I mean, he pretty much was like a, his own character in that movie. Um, I mean, it's like so iconic, the, the Batman theme and, um, and of course, you know, Jack Nicholson as the Joker is like, for you know, me that, yeah, for me, that's, that's peak Joker right there. Yeah. I mean, cause to be honest, Jack Nicholson was already sort of like the Joker yeah. in in real life. And <laughs> for him to just kind of yeah. like play that role so well and like in a way that was like kind of like truly frightening. Um, if you've ever seen the movie The Shining, you can kind of see Jack Nicholson's kind of like take on like, you know, having... The unhinged, yeah. Yeah, and it, it works really well in this mm -hmm. movie. And um, I will give Mark Hamill for the best Joker laugh, though. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> gotta gotta hand it to the animated uh, Joker, um, yeah. for sure. Um, but yeah, this movie it's just like, you know. I think like when I was a kid, seeing it in a theater, like, I I missed some nuances about it. It was more of just like the action, mm -hmm. and you know it, it kind of it, the pacing was a little off. It was a little slow at times. I know there was a part in the middle of the movie where I kind of like. Um, you know, felt like maybe it could kind of, you know... Sped up a little bit. Or, yeah. yeah. Be a little more streamlined. Yeah, but but overall, the 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 way it was kind of filmed and, like, you know... It's still... Yeah, the look of it still holds up pretty good. I mean, there's a couple of the little effects here and there, but other than that, it still holds up Yeah, well. the, uh, the uh, infamous, like, little shadow. Oh, God, yeah. On, when he's on the building and you kind of yeah. see him turn, that was pretty... I was like... 
Yeah, there's things like you, when you're, you know, when I saw it in the theater as a kid, it was like, well, yeah, so he's like, do, like dark. I thought it was like, like pitch, like black, and but then you watch it now, it's very blue and yes, almost like. But it's also well it. it. They didn't have the HD that we have now, so that's true. Yeah, but I mean, even with the the HD kind of remaster of it, it still looks really good. Yeah, for sure, and I know like. You know, you can tell between Batman and Batman Returns, like the they perfected the suit. Oh, but yes. Even the bat symbol, like you notice, the bat symbol looks different from like you know, yeah. basically what this looks like. It's got the two extra little things at the bottom. Yeah, and I, I found out that it wasn't. At first, I thought maybe it was a copyright issue or you know, a licensing right. issue, but apparently, whoever made the suit thought that looked good, and then they just kind of like went with it. I actually did um, like it. Yeah, I mean, it, it sort of, like, fits. It, it kind of, you know, right. it sort of makes that suit unique. And honestly, I think this suit and the Batman Returns suit are probably the best-looking Batman suit, like, live action, I, I think, in my eyes. Just, you know, the, the yellow and the, the utility belt and everything just really stands out. It's very, like, um, graphic, you know, mm -hmm. like, comic book-ish, you know? Um, but, uh, but, yeah, um, just... I mean, this movie, like, is amazing. Like, even after all these years, I still go back to this one. Like, if I want to feel, like... I, I think I like... Yeah, I like the 89 more than I like Batman Returns, actually. Yeah, I I kind of... Even as a kid watching Batman Returns, I liked it. But it was definitely... Someone, someone compared Batman as a... Uh, like a studio run movie that Tim Burton directed, but uh -huh. Batman Returns was Tim Burton's version of Batman. If that makes sense, okay, yeah. uh, it's almost like a Tim Burton movie with Batman thrown right. in, rather um, than a Batman movie directed by Tim Burton. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. that definitely does make more sense because it. I mean, it, it feels like if you watch any of his movies, it, it definitely has more of a Burton feel. Oh like, yeah, even some of the, the design. One. Like that big cat head that's very Tim Burton. Yeah, you know, um, but but overall, I mean, I think Batman is like just by itself. Like, I mean, if it was just the one movie, it it'd probably be like the perfect like Batman movie. I mean, mm -hmm. in my eyes, um, because there's like a there's definitely a beginning, middle, and end. There's an arc too. You kind of see how you know, obviously his origin story is thrown in there, but they kind of threw a twist with right. You they, you get. A similar story to his origin but not quite and then you yeah the little yeah it's not as drawn out as in some of the other interpretations of his origin yeah and then you know even in the comics it was always sort of they played around with you know joker possibly having having something to do with his parents dying right and this movie they kind of made jack napier who is the joker the, the one who killed his parents so that was sort of like you know ballsy too and, and right for, especially for the time yeah yeah um but uh but yeah if you haven't seen this movie which uh, i'd be surprised if you haven't <laughs> um it's classic yeah. um go out and see it we're super stoked about um the flash movie um yeah we're, we're, it'd be nice to see keaton as batman again yeah i'm like i'm really actually digging the supergirl design that they have for this that i always thought it was weird that supergirl had blonde hair <laughs> For some reason. So a dark haired Supergirl makes sense to me. Yeah, because Superman has dark hair and you think, okay, yeah. dark, yeah. Um, but yeah, we're, we're seeing the movie tomorrow. Um, we're doing an early showing oh, yeah. of it. So we're, um, I'm like super stoked, dude. Like, I can't wait, man. Like, <laughs> seriously, I'm like, avoiding all, again. <laughs> avoiding all reviews, any kind of spoiler talk. But nope. <laughs> and the reality is that this is my first Batman movie with Michael Keaton since 89. Because I, I I didn't see Return Batman Returns oh. in the theater. I saw it on video. Okay. So, but yeah, so that's kind of a first. For, yeah. Or not a first, but you know what I mean. Yeah, Batman '89 was pro was the first movie I got to see in a drive-in. Oh, nice. That was cool. Uh, yeah, but I yeah. did see Returns in the theater also. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, um, but yeah, keep an eye out for that. And uh, yeah, well, that's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoy that. As always, if you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe below. Let us know what you think of Batman 1989. Who is your favorite Batman? What's your favorite Batman movie? Let us know in the comments, and we will catch you next time. Peace.